Hey yo, hey yo, this is the Show Like TV, and today we have a special guest in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my guy. Hey man, MHK Mike, man, one and only. If you don't know, you need to know. Yes, sir, yes, sir, man. And thank you so much, Mike, for being on the show. This is a long time coming, my brother. Appreciate you, buddy. Hey man. It's time, you know what I mean? It's been a minute. Yeah, it's been, it's been a, minute. a minute. Yeah, yeah. People don't know, man. I've been I've been I've been on the mic for a long time, bro. So we've been we've been rocking a long time. Like locked in. Yeah, man. So uh let's let's get into some current events, bro. Um I see that you had a show last night. Yes, sir. You know, and it looked like you was rocking it out. Where where were you at? You know what I'm saying? What was that about, bro? See, we we was at the uh the beehive right on uh State Street. It was decent though. It was a it was a cool little show, man. It was it's been a minute since I performed, you know what I mean? So that was one of my first ones for the year too, so it was a nice little show though, you know what I mean? Rocked it out. Yeah. People was fucking with the vibe, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And um, how did you how did you um get in con get in connect with that? Well my boy uh Adam Banks, shout out to him, you know what I mean, that's where we at right now. Uh he linked me up with uh Ferrari. Ferrari and uh Bro bro tapped me in, you know what I mean? He he showed love, bro. A lot of people I be around just show love, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's just really how I got locked in. That's what's up, man. Shout out to my guy, man. Shout out to Banks, man. Yes. So, um, like, if anybody knows you, the fans know you, you have a resume, bro. A resume of music. Step, Believe Me, Go Stupid, LRG. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we, we can go on, oh, yeah. we can go on, yeah. bro. So, like, what was the mindset of doing those, the, 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 that, that music, man, in that time? You know, like, where, what were you doing, you know? Well, really, when it comes to making music, bro, it's not... I really just go off based off what's going on, right? So, like, in that time period, we was just vibing, you know what I mean? That was the time period we was just a little younger, you know what I mean? Kind of turned a little more, you know what I mean? Doing, doing shit we shouldn't be doing, but around that time, that's how that music was coming. So it was just like vibey music, bro. And I wouldn't even say, like, I really necessarily have a style. You know what I mean? Like any beat I'm rocking with, I'ma just speak. It's just gonna come out, and yeah. that's just gonna be. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 to even piggyback off of that, bro, you're versatile because you don't just rap. You mm -hmm. also sing. Also, you know what I'm saying? And not just sing. Let's not say sing. Versatile, Mike, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. It don't, it don't get no better than that, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, the Mike Cup track. Yeah. That was a very um. Yes, sir. That was a very eye-opening music Yo, video, man. Hey, come on, man. Um, I enjoyed it. Appreciate that, man. Yes, sir. I yes, did, sir. too. I had a great time. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time, bro. So, so, so how, 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 did you get every, how did you get that set up, man? The, the location, the beautiful locations and everything, man. How was that? Just... So, shit. So, what, what it was, bro, it was like around my birthday. My, my birthday, June 23rd, you know what I mean? All Kings born in June, you feel me? But... We, I, I had recorded the song and I was like, man, fuck it, we finna do it, I'm finna drop it, right? So I, I connected, I can't even, what was his name, G, G, T, G, X, D, I think? He was, uh, he from Cali. I, I connected with him because he shot my, uh, ain't the same video. He shot that one when I went out to Cali. So I linked up with bro and I was like, yo, I'm gonna pop out to Vegas for a couple of days for my, uh, my B-Day. Pop out, he's like that. Flew him out and then once we got out there, Rented the space and then you know social media, so I just Google. You know what I mean? I'm on IG, IG models, found the. You know what I mean? I yeah. like, if you notice, they all colored. You know what I mean? They all got some color. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and so how how long, how long did it take you to to do that video? Like you know how long were you out there? Shit. So really, we was vibing for like two days, and we shot the video the third day. We was out there. Knocked that out, and that was that. Mm. We was we had a shoot. Well, we was probably shooting. We shot all day the third day. We shot all day, mm. all day. We had the the little uh, space we rented out. We had that for like five hours. Then we like rode around the little mountains and shit. Went down the strip. So we was out there all day. It was yeah. a wild game. It was, it was yeah. a good time, bro. Yeah. It was a good time. Bro. I had look, it looked fun in that car, man. Yeah, you know I mean, it really did. And that's what that's what I was trying to go for. You know what I mean? To make it just look fun. You know what I mean? Something fun, normal shit, bro. Like you don't gotta be too much, man. This is just what we do. You know what I mean? Have a good time, live life. That's right. That's right. So let's go ahead and get into you. Let's go ahead and get to MHK Mike and who he is as a person. Where are you from? Bro, I'm from East Texas, bro. I'm from East Texas, New Boston, 903, the zoo to be exact. I'm from Texas County, you know what I mean? Right on the borderline, you know what I mean? Say, you you, you across the street right there, you on Arkansas side, just across the street. 
I'm over here on Texas. All we gotta do is cross the street, you feel me? Like, but that's where I'm from. I'm from Texas, bro. Born and raised, you know what I mean? We jump back. Let's see, man, we jump back. My sister was born out here, so we jump back and forth, right, bro? We jump back and forth. And I say, I did my... All right, so check, we're gonna get into it, boom. All right, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna get into it. My mama, my mama had, you know what I mean, got into some shit, and you know what I mean? She was on a run for, she had this safari, whatever, whatever, she was on a run. So we left Texas, my, I say fourth grade, my fourth grade year, but we just up and left everything, up and left everything, bro. Had a, nothing, we just packed bags and all, just left, bro. Mama was on the run, we came out here. My mama from out here, you know what I mean? So her side of the family out here, my daddy, he from Texas, so his side of the family from out there. We came out here, she was on the run for probably a year before she got caught. Whatever, they, they caught her, sent her back to Texas. Um, yeah, Texas, she went to the uh, Dallas Penitentiary. So we stayed out here, we ain't had the money at the time to keep, you know what I mean? We had literally just up and left, so we ain't even have the funds to just do that. So we stayed out here. And so I did my fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade out in uh, Tooele. To Willa, Utah. What school did you go to out there? To Willa High School. Mm -hmm. Well, not to Willa High School. To Willa uh, Junior High in the, uh, I think it was Copper Canyon they had out there, if I'm not mistaken. I did that, and then my mama got out like my before I went into high school, right? So it was crazy too how they set it up, man. My my step daddy, my my little brother daddy, shout out to him. He was playing games and shit. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the stove. We like, I'll oh, let us come. He's like, nah, y'all stay, y'all stay. We like, well, what the fuck, whatever. That's weird. You don't never leave us home. Bro, came back with mama and shit. It was crazy. It was a good time. <clears throat> okay. But after that, though, we had moved back to Texas. So my, my ninth grade, I did my ninth, tenth, and eleventh. I had to come back out my senior year. My, uh, the summer of my junior year. My sophomore year, going into my junior year, uh, me and bro, me and one of my, I wouldn't even call him a homie, but me and a nigga had did a uh, kick dough. And, you know. And wait, wait, <clears throat> for people who don't know what a kick door is, because uh, you defined a kick door for us? Yeah, it was a uh, burglary with inhabitation, man, so. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> check it though, right? Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? But bro had. Shit had went, it was smooth, but you know what I mean, niggas freeze up. But we was juveniles, right? So the person that came up and confessed, because they confessed, they gave us like a plea in abeyance, right? So we didn't get charged for it. They put us on probation for a certain amount of time and we had restitution, we had things we had to do. And if you completed that, it would be expunged from your record and you could never, you would never find it. But if you fucked up, that was that, you gonna go to jail for that and it's gonna be on your record, Feel what I'm, you feel me? Yeah. So, anyways, that shit had happened, right? And so, I've been, I, I played football my whole life, bro. Like, that's what I, I love sports, bro. I, I played football. And that's what I was trying to do, bro. And so I couldn't play my junior year, right? They started drug testing in high school, too, right? Mm. In Texas, they was playing, tripping. But they started drug testing. I'm not gonna lie, I failed every drug test. They was doing random drug tests. I, I've been smoking, but that's, you know, but I feel like every drug test, but they shouldn't be drug testing anyways in high school. Oh, yeah. But you feel me? But uh, I had failed them both, so I couldn't play no more at the school I was at. So I couldn't play in that district either, right? So I went looking around, and I went to Arkansas, and the first thing the coach said to me, he like, are you running from something? I'm like, damn. I'm like, nah. And I walked out, me and my pops walked out, I was like, that's a no-go. That's, <laughs> that's a no-go. So then it came to a situation I was like, what I'ma do, right? So I'ma, I'ma sit in the hood and not play sports and like, who know what the fuck I'ma get into? Mm -hmm. Or I can go back to Utah and live with my, my granny, my mama, my mama mama, you feel me? And you know what I mean? Play ball out there, cause it's a whole, you know what I mean? They don't know nothing about it. Right. So I was like, fuck it, that's what we gonna do. Did that, buddy, came out here my senior year, played ball. Woman ass, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. uh, after my senior year, I had went uh, to a little school in North Dakota, Botanou, a uh, college school. It was a little juco, bro. Nothing serious. But I played football out there. Uh, I was wide receiver, if you niggas, you know what I mean? I still, I still like that, though. 
if you ever want, just let me know. Mm -hmm. Who, whatever, it don't matter. But you know what I mean? I was out there, and then I had got kicked out of the college, bro. They had kicked me out of school. They ain't necessarily kicked me out of school. He told me, though, he told me I had got in a fight, and he had told me I can come back, but I can't live on campus. You think I'm coming all the way to North Dakota and not living on campus, bro? Absolutely. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy, bro. Where we was at, too, is like 10, 10, 15 miles from the uh, Canadian border, bro. Uh -oh. Cold as shit. Boy, winters you ain't, winters you ain't never seen, So boy. you talk, talk cold as nothing can Fuck answer, no, boy. Fuck no. Shit was crazy. But then, after that, I was like, fuck. I went to a school in uh, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. And I played for Itasca, a little junior college there. Went crazy, you know what I mean? All facts, nigga. Top 10. Top 10 wide receiver in Juco Nation when I played. All facts, nigga. what I tell you, Adam? I ran a 4 4 5, nigga. You don't believe it. I ran a 4 4 5, nigga, and I can prove it, nigga. You know what I mean? All facts. Sure, I'm just seeing Cat Williams running. Man, that shit count. That shit count. But nah, buddy. And then. It came down to, a, I had got a little partial scholarship, right, to go to a, a little NAIA school in Kansas. Mm -hmm. I really wasn't feeling the deal, right, because I had to come out of pocket still. But I took it, right, I was like, cool. But I had to get up my math class, man, fuck math. Come that spring, he wanted me to come that spring, right, so come, what is it, uh, that Christmas break we get? Come that Christmas break, I couldn't come back in spring. Well, I couldn't go to spring, in spring, to transfer because I had failed the math class. Mm -hmm. So I had to go back to the Minnesota school to finish, you know what I mean? Yeah. Repeat, then go. And then go. Didn't have the funds to do that. So I'm like, fuck. Can't, well, you know what I mean? What I'm supposed to do now, right? So I'm like, fuck it, I can't go back. So I'm back in Texas with my mama. And I stayed out there maybe like, I ain't even gonna lie, maybe like three weeks, cause mm -hmm. three weeks, three weeks, bro. And I was like, fuck that, I'm leaving. I'm yeah. it's, it's time to go. Told her to, uh, Take me to the airport, bro. Flew out here. Shit, the rest is just history, bro. We yeah. here now, man. Just trying to figure it out. Yeah, man. What year was that that you did that you touched down out here? Oh, well, my dates get mixed up, bro. I said like 20, 19, 2020. 2020. Okay. So just, you know, we say 19, 2020. You know the different feel from where you were to where you are now. Yeah. What's the what is what's what's the difference? You speaking as me as in as as me? No, as as as, in, as, as the environment. The environment? Yeah. Really, bro, I say there's a difference, but there ain't no difference. Right? Cause it go down everywhere. And it don't matter where you at. You can be in Alaska. There's gangsters, killers, robbers, dealers, it don't matter. They everywhere, right? So it's not like I know people are thinking like like Utah, something soft, like you know what I mean. It is a bunch of like Mormons and shit, but like it go down out here. You know what I mean? It go down. It go down everywhere though. So it's like <clears throat> it's just what you put yourself into though, right? Cause like I wouldn't say necessarily Utah just got hoods, right? They don't just I I ain't personally. You feel me? Like I ain't personally seen or like been around no hood. Like I, you know what I mean? You feel me? Just I like haven't either. You know what I mean? But they, there's gangsters out here though. There's gangsters, there's gang bangers, there's, you know what I mean? There's niggas out here that's really, really like that and really, you know what I mean? Putting in work and like, you know what I mean? So that's everywhere. It's like people just, people just be confused, bro. Like, niggas think shit's sweet. Hawaii looks beautiful. You think it don't go down out there somewhere? You think niggas ain't, you know what I mean? You don't think it's going down somewhere? Like, come on, bro. It go down everywhere. It's just what you putting yourself in. It's just what you putting yourself in. Yeah. That's true. That's true. And so, you being from out here, would you go back home? Yeah, but I'm trying to get up out of here. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't think I want. I think I want to move to uh, ATL. Though. That's where I want to go. But I think I feel like <coughs> perfectly. You know what I mean? I want to be around that environment. Yeah. I feel like Atlanta, that's where all the motion at. Them niggas, you know what I mean? They showing love. Everybody, that's where you need to be, bro. That's where them niggas is. Getting to it, fool. Yeah. For the real. Culture, the, the culture. Yeah, you feel me? <clears throat> I mean, speaking of culture, you know, since you've been here, you know, what's your outlook on the culture here in Salt Lake City? <laughs> 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 oh, no, we get deep. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Bo, like I said, I think it's just who you put yourself around. 
You feel me? Like right now, look, boom. Look, we got culture right here. This culture, you feel me? When you get around the right people, that's culture. So it's just who you around, right? It, I ain't gonna, it's not a lot of things I think we would, you know what I mean? A lot of spots for, you know what I mean? Colored folks or like, you know what I mean? Things like that, it's more <coughs> off to the left, you know what I mean? The other side. But that, I don't feel like that don't mean there's no culture, you know what I mean? Cause like what, the, the polys and them, they get together. When they get together, that's culture, nigga. Like that's they culture, nigga. When we get together for barbecues and cookouts, like nigga, that's culture. Like that's, you know what I mean? Like I feel like your culture is what you, what you doing. You know what I mean? What's your culture in home? Fuck out, the, fuck out in the world, bro. Fuck that, you know what I mean? Cause we, we gotta keep the culture alive. We ain't worried about them. It's what we giving them, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, that's very true, that's true. That's true, we, we, and we're gonna, we're gonna touch back on that man, but let's let's stay on you for just a little bit longer. Um, you know, you get in a point of the game where you feel like you did it all, or you seen it all. Uh -huh. How far do you feel like you're at in in that? Like, I ain't nowhere. I'm just getting started, game. I'm just getting started, bro. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing, bro. I didn't be in the I ain't seen nothing yet. I'm trying to see it, yeah. I'm trying to see what that be like. What? I'm trying to see what that be like, out there. For real. Where is that? For real, man. That's right, that's right. So, um, you know, the talent that you have, bro, uh, did anyone help you or, you know, teach you how to, to create music or you just kind of learn this on your own, just on the fly? Yeah, bro, so I've been around music my whole life, bro. So some of the folks I used to kill you with, bro, like they, they uncles was like Devin the dude and shit like that, you know what I mean? So like we've been around music the whole time. And what's crazy is the first song I ever made, bro, I was in Minnesota. We was in college, bro, my boy uh Keen. Shout out my boy Keen, he's from Florida. You know what I mean? We had recorded a little song. And we had put the motherfucking mic in the closet. And it wasn't even a big closet, it was like one of them little closets you open, like a little cabinet. But put the sock over that bitch, you know what I mean? Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, racking it up. Yeah, hey, that shit was bad, though. But no, nah, it was just like, bro, I've always had something for music. You know what I mean? I don't know what. I just, like, always like music. I've always, you know what I mean? Since a little kid, I was up watching the MTV when they used to play all the videos. You know what I mean? I'm up late night. I'm up late night changing my wardrobe, nigga, acting like I'm, you know what I mean? I'm up, hey, I'm Chris Brown in the motherfucking stop playing. You feel me? Like, it's always been in me, bro. And I just enjoy it, fool. I just enjoy it. Yeah. So, let's, 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 get, let's get off question. MHK is walking in the 7-Eleven. Three items he's buying. <clears throat> I'm getting that. Arrowhead water. Skittles. Barbecue chips. Barbecue chips? <laughs> <laughs> if they got if they got the original hot fries, I'm going. You know what the original hot fries is, right? Chester's? The blue bag? Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> You don't know nothing about that. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all think y'all think the Cheetos is the that's not it. That's not the original. Y'all don't know nothing about that, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. Uh, give us three of your favorites, your favorite comedic movies. Damn, boy. That's a good question, bro. Boy, got me stuck. Mm -hmm. Let's come back on it. Let's come back on it. Let's come back to that question. Okay. Let's come back to that question. You don't fuck with, like, Friday? <laughs> but, I, but, no, I do fuck with Friday, Friday, right? Friday, I, I do. Mean, it's too obvious, but, like, damn, why? <laughs> nah, see, because, like, I wanted, I wanted to get, like, not something just so, like, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. something, like, everybody going to say, right? Yeah. Different, right? We doing different. So not something everybody going to say. I was like, you know what I mean? Okay. What's that, uh, what's that, uh, what's that movie? Uh, old school, is that, what's that? When, uh, Cat Williams in that? This ain't, whose goddamn white baby is this? <laughs> <laughs> that whole funny, I, I think it's old school. Yeah, old school. Uh, is that the one we said? Yeah. Uh, Nutty one. Professor. Mm -hmm. Uh, come on, let me, uh. I fuck with house party. I ain't gonna lie. I think that I think that whole kind of oh, funny. Yeah, that's a legend. <laughs> I think that whole kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. I think they got some. You know what I mean? I'm from home. I'm from home. For real. All right. Uh, what is standing on business to you? What is standing on business to you? Standing on business. Uh, uh, 
handling your responsibilities, bro. Doing what you're supposed to do at all times. Standing on business. Yeah, yeah. And I see you, you're standing on business also as a parent, bro. Hey, you know what I mean? You can't play by the kids. I don't play by the kids, huh? Yeah, yeah. You want to give, give us a little information, man, on your, on your life behind the music? With my kids? Yeah. Who are you behind, behind the music? Okay. Shit, behind the music, I'm a great father, man, and a great friend. I love my kids to death, though, man. My little girl and my little twin. My little boy, man, that's my guy. You know what I mean? Y'all watch out. Y'all better watch Hey, y'all daughters. Y'all better watch out. You know what I mean? But we're not playing about my daughters, so. <laughs> bad, bad. You know what I mean? We don't play like that. That's right. That's right, man. So, a, a day in the life of MHK Mike. Ain't that crazy how that go, though? Hey, hey, ain't that crazy how that go, though? Yeah. We gonna take their daughters, but nah, nigga, you can't. <laughs> hey, hey, nah, nigga, nah, 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 nah. A day in the life, though, bro. Usually, bro, I'm with my kids a lot, bro, through the week. I'm with my kids. Anytime I'm free, bro, I'm doing what I got to do. Making my moves, doing what I got to do. You feel me? I'm with my boy, ABX in the studio, making hits, you know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to make the news. That's right. But don't trip, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We gonna set it up, bro. You know, you know, I think I'll be, you know, somewhere shouting you out very soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. worry about it. We don't Type put you shit. somewhere. You don't worry about it. So, uh, what do you think the rap game is missing? Shit. People being original. I feel like people just following shit too much. You feel what I mean? They just need to be free. You hear what I mean? Don't don't box yourself in, I feel like. Don't box yourself in. Don't try to just stick to like one genre. You know what I mean? Step out that comfort zone, man. Like be different. And I think that's what all the greats do. You know what I mean? Like that boy Young Thug, a great cause just you know what I mean? His beat selection, the music, the type of music he do, the type of level he on. You feel me? Yeah, that's true. If you can change one thing, um, in this music industry here in Salt Lake City, you just kind of feeling it. What would it be? Shit. Motherfuckers just need to show love, bro. You know what I mean? Show love to the ones who really, who really working, who really, you know what I mean? And don't try to like, don't be that nigga that just show love because that's your boy or like you know him. Like, show love to the niggas that really, you know what I mean? Like, we can all come together and make shit pop, bro, because there's some. There's some niggas out here that's far. There's some niggas out here that's far. But I feel like a lot of niggas just be in competition. Too much, but competition's good, but like too much competition comes of like ego and shit, and it's like throwing shit off. It's fucking business up. Now niggas don't want to work. Now it's like, you know what I mean? Niggas hating and shit. So it's like, bro, we just got to come together some way. The people that want to do it, you know what I mean? The people that see them taking that, you know what I mean? Just come together, man, figure it out. That's true, that's true. Do you, do you deal with jealousy? Nah. No. I'm cool, bro. Do you ever deal with any, any biters? Any, you know what I'm saying? People would be like, hey, man, come on. I don't even pay attention, bro. Yeah. I just, Keep they everywhere. You know they everywhere, but it's like, I ain't even gonna feed into that. Yeah. I'm chilling. Yeah. You don't like me, that's cool. Right. You like me, I like you. Right. I fuck with who fuck with me. Right. And you don't fuck with me, I still fuck with you. They got damn me, come on, man. So 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 the social media, you know, it's uh, it's giving you love right now. Yeah, man, it's doing all right. Yeah. It could be better, but hey, man, patience. It's right. all coming. Right. I don't really be tripping, man. That shit gonna come. Yeah. They gonna see. You know, my time coming. The time is now. <laughs> give me three of um, give me three of your uh, biggest influencers in this game. Really. <clears throat> I say. I see my boy from the crib, Young Smoothie. You know what I mean? That boy. You know what I mean? We gonna do we gonna do it differently too, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm only do one. My boy uh ABX, biggest influencer since I since I've been making music on my mama. On my mama. And then we'll go we'll go. I I say I don't care. I don't even know. 
Me, myself, and I. <laughs> can't even name nobody else. I ain't even worried about other folks, man. I can't even, I can't even like, can't even pay attention to niggas like that, man. That's right. I hear you. I hear you. So, <clears throat> if you wanted to explain MHK Money just to people that don't know who you are, how would you explain yourself? Money hungry king that get money. Hungry, humble, loving person, man. Loyal, man, to the ones that's loyal to me. I'm rocking with who rocking with me, man. What are, what, what are real niggas to MHK Mike? <laughs> Hell, shit, it would be, it would be just like going back to standing on business, bro. A real nigga is someone that's a man, you know what I mean, handling theirs. You know what I mean? That's a real nigga, like, niggas get it mixed up. They think real niggas just push the pop in, like, you know what I mean? Nah, nigga, we on business over here. We got it, but it's to protect, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's, it's all about standing on business. It's, it's handling your shit, bro, handling yourself as a man, bro. Handle what you need to handle as a man for yourself, for your family. You know what I mean? That's, that's what a real nigga gonna do. Mm -hmm. Just hold shit down. Yeah. Do what he supposed to do. Yeah. And, and 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 speaking on that, let's not forget what are you wearing right now? Yo, you know. Huh. Oh yeah. MSK. Uh-huh. Better. What? Come on now. Huh? When you say when you say step standing on business, that's the definition right there. Yeah, you know what something slight. Like, you know, Come on. So um what I usually do is I always ask, you know, my, my, my guests, if you could rewind back time knowing what you know now. Say, nineteen. No, that's that's just just the, a younger version of you. Man, that was dummy for boy. I know. Two thousand nineteen. You never never know. But just you know, what would you say to yourself? You just move smarter. Move smarter. You know what I mean? And figure out a way. I like even figure out a way. Really, just sit back and figure out yourself. Don't worry about anything else. Focus on you. You know what I mean? Don't be trials, tribulations. But just focus on you. Don't give up. That's really what I say. Just keep going, young nigga. Cause I'm still young. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm still like, you know what I mean? So like, to my younger self, I feel like I'm still, you know what I mean? I still am a young nigga. So. I'm still like, you know what I mean? Yeah, still. Well, let's come, let's come back to this. You know what I mean? When we come up years, let's yeah, come up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Let's come back. Let's rewind that bit. That's right. That's right. So, um, artists is listening to this right now. What do you want to tell them about the the, the, the the music business? You know, and what they need to be looking out for. Shit, really, I couldn't even put a nigga on game like that because I'm still learning myself. You feel me? Like I'm still learning daily on new things. Things I ain't even know about, like I still learn daily. So really, what I say is just put in time, have some time to research and like figure out. You know what I mean? You gotta study what you wanna do. You know what I mean? You can't be great at what you wanna do if you're not studying it or trying to find different ways to, you know what I mean? Get a different check from your music or having a different platform, posting it, and not even being such as like world star or something like big like that, but something, you know what I mean? People don't even know about that's, you know what I mean? Cause it could be that little small ass company that take your ass off that niggas don't even know about. You know what I mean? Cause they too, they too focused on like following the leader, like, go, oh, we gotta be on this one to get up here. Like, nah, nigga, if you, if you sit back and look and research some shit, you gonna find some answers and they gonna, it's, you get my socials, MHK Mike, everywhere. You can hit my email. MHK might be at gmail.com. You know what I mean? I'm everywhere. MHK Mike. That's right. one and only. That's right. So what, what what's new? What, what what's the what's uh sneak peek of something new that, that we're gonna be, be seeing from you? I got a uh E P dropping, no skips, April twenty third. You know what I mean? Some, you know what I mean? No skips. Yeah. You know I mean? Any features? Uh yeah. 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 Is that a hush hush or what? Are you nah, uh, honestly, I can't even remember off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I think my boy uh, MHK Dejan on there for sure. Okay. I think I got my boy Adam Banks on there too. I'm like, oh, boy Adam Banks. You've been working, bro. Yeah, I'm like, you've been working, man. You've been working. 
All right, so any shout outs before we, we, we go ahead and get up out of here? Shout out to Bravo, gang. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, man, I appreciate you being on the show like TV, bro. We got to get you back on here again. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I think we're going to get a story time. We've been doing story time lately with a lot of artists and stuff like that where we just sit you guys in front of the camera. Um, Y'all yeah, give us a good five minutes of some funny shit or okay. some sad shit or something that. Okay, shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tight shit, bro. You know, so we're going to for sure try to get you back on here. Bro. I ain't said that. All right, man. It's the show like TV, man. And we out.